What's up guys, back with a quick update. Today is February 2nd. Yesterday, February 1st, the SBA released the FAQ on the targeted EIDL advance. So I'm gonna go through it a little bit, I have it pulled up, um, some key points, some stuff that's missing or not hasn't been brought up yet. Um, so let's get into it. So, oh, also it's only four pages, but I'll link it uh, down below. Uh, in the uh, description box so you guys can read it deep word for word yourself. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. So uh, really no new uh, information. Sorry, people are texting me. <laughs> no new information. Uh, so basically the first people says, uh, a first group of people that are going to get the grant or advance is people who received less than $10,000 uh, the first time around, um, meaning that you are a, uh, I shouldn't say that first one, they're going to be targeted the first. So people that received less than $10,000, the first uh, EIDL portal when it was open, uh, will have first priority to apply for target EIDL advance. All right. Now, you guys will be the first group to receive email invites to the application portal. So this clarifies that there is going to be a portal. Um, you will be getting an email, all right? And then you guys can go ahead and um, apply through that. Now you still have to qualify, okay? And that comes down in here uh, a little further down the FAQ. Uh, the second group are businesses uh, that applied for EIDL assistance before December 27th, but did not receive an EIDL advance because available funding was exhausted in mid July. All right, so you applied for it, the the grant advance, sorry, um, and you didn't get it. So there's a second group. Okay, uh, so it goes into next FAQ. When will the SBA begin sending email invites to the first priority group? Uh, it started yesterday. So if you guys have gotten an email from SBA, I'd be curious to see what they're saying. Just, uh, you know, you can summarize it or copy it word for word, just uh, white out any uh, any uh, personal stuff or sensitive information. Uh, it may take several weeks before all emails are sent to businesses in the first priority group. So, today's the second. It seems like it's going to take a while, uh, meaning that if you haven't gotten it yet, hang tight. Uh, it could be... It could be end of this month, you know, before you can get the rest of the uh, advance money. Um, so that's the first priority group. Again, that's the people that business owners or entrepreneurs or sole props contractors that got the first round but wasn't the full ten thousand dollars. The second priority group, people who applied for it but never got it because the funding ran out. The SBA will closely monitor the rate of applications and approvals for the first priority group. And we'll announce a projected start date for the second priority group by a later date. So that does not help you guys at all if you guys haven't received anything from the uh, SBA for the EIDL advance. Uh, it's just, wow. I mean, they, they had weeks of, to plan this since December 27th, technically. So, I mean, it's been five, yeah, five weeks or so. I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. Um does the SBA plan to open up the program to new applications beyond the first two priority groups? Currently, there are no plans to open the targeted EIDL advance program to applicants. That's ridiculous too. Okay. So basically, if you didn't apply last year for the EIDL advance, whether you got money or not, uh, and you want to apply now, you can't do it. Apparently, it's not, they're not opening it up. Um, do I have to reapply if I receive less than $10,000 limit of advanced funds? Again, those are people in the first priority group. No, SBA reach out directly to you. Now, remember, SBA is going to email you. Make sure it's from sba.gov. There's a lot of scams going around. Uh, I believe uh, even the SBA posted something yesterday, a couple of days, how there's a bunch of scams going around trying to get your information and basically steal your money. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff we kind of knew already. Um, okay, here's a good one. So while I'm waiting for the SBA invitation to apply for the target EIDL advance, what are some things I can do to prepare to apply? If you have not fired, fired, filed your 2019 federal tax return 
you should complete that process. Uh, so basically, you're going to need a 2019 tax return. You're also going to be required to provide the business month, monthly gross receipts for each month from January 2019 through the rest, through the most recent month to date period. All right. So that's going to be determined if you're eligible because you have to meet that 30% reduction in revenue during an eight week period beginning on March 2nd, 2020. Meaning they're going to look at 2019 month by month and then compare it to anything after March 20th. Um, and see if there's an eight-week period where uh, things went um, or you saw a decline in revenue by 30%. Uh, let's see here. What, doc the, what documentation we need to provide? Gross monthly revenue for 2019. Uh, let's see here. Uh, there's uh, this kind of a thing in here where it's you may have to fill out a separate IRS form so that SBA can see your tax information, which would be kind of weird if you're providing it anyways. Um, so, okay, here's, here's a good one. My business moved since I originally applied for EIDL assistance. Am I still eligible for the target advance? The SBA will reach out to you directly to confirm your address. If your address has changed, the SBA will request additional documentation to confirm the location. Now, who is eligible for the target EIDL advance? We've been over this. Um, I've been over this already. So more than 30% during an eight-week period beginning on March 2nd compared to 2019. Uh, less than 300 employees. And then, uh, let's see. It goes into some more FAQ stuff. Um... The other, I guess, thing to just to bring up again is the low income. So the way I think the SBA may look at this as far as who they're sending these emails out to, uh, if whatever file you have on or whatever file they have, uh, whatever address they have on file of you, uh, they're going to like the zip code and the other parameters to determine if you're low income. And then they may send out, after that, send out the... Uh, email with saying hey click here upload whatever you need to this portal and then we'll get back to you type of thing um what can you use the eidl advanced funds for can be used for working capital normal operating expenses um those include healthcare benefits rent utilities fixed debt payments okay and then i guess this is some so i actually date in here Meaning, uh, the question is, how long will it take to receive the advanced funds once my information is submitted to SBA? Once the SBA has received all requested documentation, we will process information, issue any additional funds as quickly as possible. The SBA's goal is to process all requests within 21 days of receiving a completed application. All application decisions will be communicated by email. All right. Uh, and then that, that's really it. Uh, there are, they actually put in here, uh, who should business owners contact with additional questions about these targeted advances. So they have a phone number here and also an email address. So I think if, if you're waiting in the queue, meaning that it's okay, you're not sure if you're in a low income, but you got the targeted advance or portion of it, or maybe we didn't get it. Uh, I don't, I don't see how it wouldn't hurt not to contact them directly. Uh, both phone call and email. I mean, email them every day as far as I'm concerned. I mean, this is kind of ridiculous. So it seems like the only way to get to this portal is you need an email straight from the SBA. Um, and then you can go in there. So again, first priority group are people that got the EIDL, EIDL advance that wasn't the full $10,000 or first priority. Second priority people who applied but never got anything because the funds ran out. Now, the third major thing is, and I covered this in another video, was Section 332, which people are saying that um, you can, or that the way how it's worded, that uh, even if you're not low income, it basically is for the middle and higher income, should be able to get the full $10,000. But SBA has not addressed that, has not said anything about Section 332. So that remains to be seen what they say with that. Um, do me a favor guys, if you guys haven't subscribed yet or you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, any comments, questions, drop them down below. If you, if SBA has reached out to you already, uh, 
kind of curious to know what they said. And uh, if you can put that in the comments, that'd be great. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, smash the like button. Till next time, peace.